Near such a big teddy bear, my face seems much thinner. Yeah, cool. There is so much space in our room, it's time to bring this dust collector here. Actually, this is not a dust collector, but a gift from a secret admirer. Secret admirer? Does his name by any chance start with Mar and end with Tin? Why do you think so? Martin doesn't have so much money. Ugh, again you're about money. You see, a gift is a great way to express your feelings for someone. This is something material. You kind of say to the person, Hey beauty, I love you for so many dollars. Uh-huh. Got it. Speaking of dollars, when are you going to give me back the $150 you borrowed last week? Well, I will return, return. You return? Because it's hard for me. I'm starving. Poor girl. Probably yesterday, instead of lobsters and oysters, you had to eat only pizza and a burger, right? Actually, it's only for you. But for me, this is a serious threat to the figure. Brief, Brittany doesn't like debts. And Chloe doesn't like Brittany. Ew, big deal. And my baby G Shock said it's time. All my thoughts linked up, multiplying, no divide. Never miss, it's a crime. But my karma stays lit. Just sit by my side. Put the work in, practice and learn. And the only truth when I spit, write the fucking sermon. Even shoot on my flicks, said it like a surgeon. Said he been rehearsing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I got it. Take a look. What is this? Did you write the numbers in words? So what? Oh no, Tyler. Damn! Baby, words are the meaning of my life. I can't live without them. Tyler, if you keep doing this, you will have to live without the school. Because you will simply be expelled. Damn! Chloe, if you say good morning, good afternoon, life will become more beautiful. People appreciate it. We see each other every day. Maybe I still need to say good month to you? Never mind, she's sad and angry because she's worried that I might be transferred to another school. I'm sad and angry because I need to return Brittany 150 bucks. Yeah, problems with finances are always annoying. Mm-hmm, especially with the ones you don't have. Yes, borrowing money without the ability to return is an absolutely irrational action. Shut up, scholarship girl. It's easy for you to say. Oh, and who's stopping you from getting a scholarship? My brain. I need to solve my girlfriend's problems now because she, well, shouldn't think about money. By the way, I don't want to think anymore either. I'll go. What? We've only just begun. Yeah, see you soon. Tyler, as if I need more than anyone. Stupid? No, you're stupid. Hey, have you slept at all tonight? Yeah, about six minutes. Bro, are you okay? I'm working. Yeah, I see life has completely dragged you down. Yay, working is cool. But no one hires full-time school students. But if I work 23 hours a day, that's like 161 hours a week, which means... $30. You don't have to be with Emma to understand that's not enough. Yes, I know, I know, but I have no choice. What, debts do? Don't get it. Never mind. It's just Brittany. Ah, uh, I see, it's Brittany again. All the money problems because of her. Don't get it. Well, Chloe has to pay Brittany back 150 bucks and she doesn't have any. So she just walks with such a face as if she owes someone. Oh, wow. I just want to make money for gifts for Brittany. Then she'll definitely be with me. Are you sure she's the one? Of course I am. What? Just, if the relationship is real, then nothing needs to be pushed or nudged. It all goes well from the beginning. Well, you know, pushing and nudging is part and parcel with Brittany. Well, maybe she's not the one at all. Damn, I'll have to start working. Fine, this is a great experience for your development. But I don't want to work. I want to see it, swing my legs, and be angry at everyone. Well, my dear, in this life, nothing just happens. How do you know? Girls, do you think money just pours on my head? Of course not. They are so pouring in your face and on your back. Don't envy. 
Actually, for daddy to give me a lot of money, I have to do a lot. For example? Yes, what? Well, well, to study. Yeah, I can't even imagine how difficult it is for you. Why are you so mean? You just don't have a new Louis Vuitton handbag. That's why you're so mean. Chloe, please pay my debt back tonight. Because I really want to buy myself new laces for sneakers. $150 for laces? Oh, girls, don't shame me. I also sometimes wear cheap clothes. I'm gonna explode with nerves. Emma, how are things with Tyler and studies? To tell the truth or to keep me from getting upset. Get it. Yes, Daddy, the handbag has arrived. The courier just brought it. Thanks a lot, it's so cool. What are you saying? Surprise inside. Cool, thanks a lot. Daddy, you're the best. Love you, love you, love you. All right, bye-bye. Brittany, hey. Yes. We haven't seen each other today. Good morning. Well, about, well, you know, well, the thing is you got, well, <sighs> damn, Brittany. Why am I still talking crazy and you don't stop me? I expected you to say something important. Anyway, how'd you like my present? I don't see a handmade postcard. Brittany! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. In general, it was I who gifted you the bear. So, it was you? Of course it was me. Who else? What a lame! How didn't I guess right away? Although, there was another bear on the site. A pink one, which cost $120 more. It was easy to guess that it was a gift from you. Brittany, I've been saving for this gift for more than one day. I didn't sleep at night. And all this in order to make you happy? Actually, real gentlemen, never talk about their problems. You know, I'll better go. I just, I just don't want to be here. Martin, you're really very good, but I must value myself. Chloe, you're so beautiful. Tyler, don't get distracted. Yeah, Emma, sorry, where did we stop? Look, Tyler, I know you don't want to disappoint me, but I want to reassure you because my expectations for you are already low. Oh, really? Tyler, don't argue with the teacher. Sorry, I can't think when these two snails are looking at me. It's Brittany and Clementine. Clementine is still bearable, but Brittany? Oh, crap, damn, how can I earn money? I don't know. Get a job? Sell something? Um... Exactly, sell! Hey! Don't even think! What? What did I miss? No! Chloe, no! Chloe! Oh, calm down! There isn't enough chamomile tea in the world to calm down the fury in my chest! Don't dare sell it! This is Brittany's gift! Ah, that's what you thought! My girl! Stop! Don't you dare! Okay, I want, I want! Hey, you! No bear sales! Yeah, yeah! Chloe, don't do this! <laughs> I will not list this beautiful bear for 140. No. $170. <laughs> well, here it is. A pink bear. And it costs a lot more. Why do I have to endure such humiliating treatment? What if my subscribers see it on my live streams? They'll think I found myself in a dumpster. Even though it's big, maybe they won't notice? Stop. No! I have money, I'll buy myself a huge pink bear. And I will have two. So, add pink bear to cart, buy, ready. Oh God, I can't remember the multiplication table. Maybe wrap it? Six, six, 36, seven, seven. Oh, cool idea, you will succeed. Moreover, today is the final exam according to which Mrs. Cooper will determine whether you stay or not. Martin. You seem to be here, but also not, Brittany. It's all Brittany. She not only doesn't want to talk to me, but looks as if to try to blow my mind. Yeah, sold! <laughs> what? I put a pink bear up for sale and someone bought it! Where'd you get the same bear as Brittany? Yeah, you wanted to sell the Brittany bear and it's brown. Wait, what? You sell my present? Well, I need money. I'll see where to send it now. Stop, stop, stop. Where to send? Send my gift? Strange. The order is made for our dorm. The name of the customer is Brittany. <laughs> Funny. It seems we have two Britneys living in our dorm. This is our Brittany chump. Wow. 
It's such a turn of events. Chloe, do you understand what's happening now? Bernie herself will repay the debt. But how is she going to do that if the prayer is brown and not pink? I am a Photoshop master. Do you think living with a girl who photoshops herself every day, I haven't learned how to do it yet? How can Emma photoshop herself? Remove glasses? <laughs> She's about Brittany. Oh. And what's next? Will you send the bear to her or what? <laughs> well, I actually thought of sending this bear to someone, but if the money has already arrived, so I'll just forget. You know, it's wrong, of course, but I do feel so good about rubbing it in Brittany's face. Is it bad? I think no. Considering that you are now under the influence of her behavior, this is not enough. For example, in elementary school, I cut off two girls' pigtail- Don't continue. It's just incredible global warming. This could be a problem for humanity. Brittany, are you listening? Why am I telling you all this? Well, if it makes you feel better, okay, speak up. We rarely listen to you. What do you mean? Well, sometimes I just don't listen. Sometimes I watch your jaw move. Very nice, Brittany. By the way, on your advice, I started watching science channels. For example, I watched the Discovery and saw such a cool thing. Did you know that if you kill a starfish, it comes to life? Wasn't the starfish wearing colorful shorts? There is a possibility, maybe by chance, that you have watched Spongebob. Very funny, Emma. But the matter is the seller hasn't confirmed the purchase of my pink bear for an hour. Don't worry. You didn't pay for the purchase. Um... Or did you pay? Oops. Brittany, you know you can't pay for purchases from unknown sellers. I know, I know, I just forgot. Are you not forgetting anything? No, my mind never forgets anything. I stopped forgetting everything from the day after my mother stopped giving me warm milk in a bottle. It's been a rough Tuesday. Ahem. <clears throat> Woo, okay. How are things with you and Martin? I understand he gave you this? And you try. Yeah, I'm afraid to imagine. Imagine a textbook. So beautiful, smart, which smells delicious. Let it be. But it's cheap and discounted. Buy it for sure. It's on discount. That's it. I don't want a discount. I want a brand new one. But there are no brand new books. But I'll find. Oh no, I have to go too. Act the way we taught you. Just don't panic. You will succeed. The main thing is the mood. Think about how we walk, spend time together. Oh. Hey, don't interfere. Good afternoon. Tyler, are you ready? He's ready. I'll ask the support group to come out. Yes, Chloe, go. Emma, you too. Gobsmacked. Don't worry, everything will work out, I'm sure. Good luck. I wouldn't be so sure if I was you. I'm ready. Do you remember that if you make more than three mistakes, then you will say bye to the school? Uh-huh. Okay, then I give a test and let's start. So, I can't hear anything. Let me listen. No, nothing. What are you waiting for? Quiet, Tyler writes an exam in there. Ah, hasn't he been expelled yet? Brittany! Kidding! By the way, what about my money? Uh, Brittany? Your dad sends you a dollar every minute. Can't you just forgive, Chloe? Actually, it's my money, and secondly, there are never too many dollars. I have money. Transferring to a credit card now. Done. Received. Everything is great now. What? Speak! Come on, speak! 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 I'm staying, I'm staying! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud, my first student! Emma, you are really cool. Thanks for the bottom of my heart. My pleasure. Tyler, I'm so happy you can't even imagine. Ew, gosh, I'm gonna die, how cute. What about their relationships? Better not to ask. We're very happy. <laughs> <laughs> How's Tyler? Seems he passed. I'm not really interested. And what are you interested in? Let me know. I'm interested in my new pink, not shameful, bear that will finally be delivered to uh, me. So mine is, after all, shameful? Why are you picking on words? When they bring a new one, you will see. Nothing will come. Why? Because that pink bear doesn't exist. It's just an ad that Chloe posted, and you're hooked. What the heck? Feels like two different people live in you at the same time. Yeah, and it's time.
time to say goodbye to the second Brittany. I wondered which one. The one who's dating Martin. The one who lives in the dorm. The one who has lost a habit of receiving expensive gifts and diamonds every day. I'm so inspired right now. I might start learning. Whoa, don't overdo it. How good is it now? Kind of weird even. Chloe, are you completely freaked out? What the claim? You sold me my own bear? Are you sane? Oops. I'm sick of you all, really. I was silent for a long time. You can keep doing it. Brittany, stop it. Should I stop? I just can't stand you anymore. Nerdy, bonkers, Barbie, and... And who? And you! No one is holding you here. Enough. From now on, we are not friends, but just classmates. You, you are not my level at all. I can hardly resist now. Well, Martin, you gonna go calm her down again? Brittany, what's that? Oh, it was delivered. From who? From the son of my father's partner. He, by the way, studies at the university. Wait, but... But you can't take it. Why? Because it'll hurt you? <laughs> Martin, I don't give a heck. You don't care? Yes! I'm sick of you all! Especially you! I just want to be mean, don't you get it? Are you breaking up with me? What makes you think we were ever together? Martin? Martin! Martin, you're okay? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Put likes, write comments, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell. And if you want to be the first to see our next episode, write in the comments how many minutes Martin slept. Bye, Bye everyone! everyone. In the next episode. Well, hello everyone. I'm Brittany. I'm breaking up with y'all. But first, do my nails. And actually, Brittany lives alone. Martin and I are dating. Okay, seems no fever. Emma, did you read fiction instead of science books? My upbringing doesn't allow me to be with you. Next question. Is it true that Martin is with Emma now? I'm your girlfriend and shouldn't pay for your compliments. Why are my followers saying you and Martin are dating? Chloe, I asked you not to talk.